A certain distance is covered at an average speed of 20 kilometers per hour. There should be a comma here by the way, right? Now, if 37.5% of the distance was covered at 15 kilometers per hour, and another stretch comprising 12.5% of the distance was covered at 25 kilometers per hour, what was the average speed? There should be another comma here, right? What was the average speed in kilometers per hour for the rest of the distance? So interesting question on the concept of average speed. He says certain distance was covered at an average speed of 20 kilometers per hour. However, 37.5% of this distance was covered at 15 kmph, 15 kilometers per hour. Yeah. Another, another stretch comprising 12.5% was covered at 27, uh, 25 kilometers per hour. So what was the average speed for the rest of the distance? For the rest of the distance. See, total distance is 100%, right? It has been split into three parts here. 37.5% distance, 12.5% uh, distance, and the remaining 50% distance. That rest here is nothing but 50%, right? 37 and 12.5 is 50, another 50. So this first distance, first stretch was covered at what speed? 15 kilometers per hour. This 12.5% stretch was covered at what speed? 25 kilometers per hour. You have to find out the average speed for this distance. Overall, this was covered at what speed? 20 kilometers per hour. So that's the summary of the question, right? 100% of the distance was covered at 20 kilometers per hour average speed, of which 37.5% was covered at 15, 12.5% was covered at 25. What was the speed for the rest of the distance? Yeah, 50% of the distance. The concept is simple. You know that average speed is total distance by total time. I can say that, see, since the distance has been, this is the distance, let's say total D. Total distance is D, yeah? Break it into three parts. D by 2, 50 percent is nothing but D by 2, right? This is like half, right? 50 percent is half. Uh, in, in terms of percentage, 12.5 percent is 1 eighth. And 37.5 percent is 3 eighth. And I'm converting these two fractions so that it becomes easier to deal with this, right? Then, let's say this is 3D by 8, which is 37.5. This is D by 8, 12.5, right? Uh, and this was covered at 15 kmph, 25 kmph. And I think redrawing the same thing. And this is what is the question. Overall, it was covered at 20 kmph. Let's assume the time taken for the first stretch is T1, time taken for the second stretch is T2, and time taken for the third stretch is T3. Overall time taken is T. The point is, total time taken should be equal to T1 plus T2 plus T3. That's it. You're done. If you understand this, you're done. You don't have to draw these diagrams, by the way. Huh? I am explaining it. I mean, only for the sake of explanation, I've put this up. You can do it very easily without... I'm drawing all these diagrams. Time is what? Time is equal to distance by speed. Time is equal to distance by speed, right? So this time t should be distance by speed. What's the total distance? D. What's the total speed? 20. T1, distance by speed. 3d by 8 by speed. What is the speed? 15. T2, uh, d by 8. What's the speed? 25. T3, what's the distance? d by 2. What is the speed? Let's assume the speed is s, by the way, right? Here, the speed is, let's say, s, average speed is s, into s. Solve for s and you will get the answer. You understand? Distance by speed, distance by speed, distance by speed, distance by speed. t equals to t1 plus t2 plus t3. d anyway gets cancelled. We are not worried about the distance here. It gets cancelled. So, what do we get? We get this. 1 by 20 equals to 3 by 8 fifteens is how much? 120 plus this is 1 by 8 25 is 200. Yeah? plus 1 by 2s. Solve for s. So I think 2 anyway gets cancelled. This is like 10, 60 and 100. Yeah. So uh, I mean simplification after this. 1 by s equals to 1 by 10 minus 3 by, oh 3 by 60 is 1 by 20, sorry. Yeah. So 1 by 20 minus 1 by 100. Let's take the LCM as 100. So this is like 1 by 100. This is Sorry, this is 10 by 100, 5 by 100, and 1 by 100. You understand what I've done here? I mean, this is how you do it in a smart way. Anyway, let me not confuse you guys. I'm, I'm clearing it up. I mean, I'll write it neatly. Yeah, 1 by s is 1 by 10 minus 1 by 20 minus 1 by 100. This is like 1 by 10 is how much? 10 percentage. 1 by 20 is how much? 5 percentage. 1 by 100 is how much? 1 percentage. So 10 percentage minus 5 percentage is 5 percentage. 5 percentage minus 1 percentage is 4 percentage. So it's like 4 percent. Anyway, 100 is the LCM. Yeah. So 10 times, 5 times, 1 time. So 4 by 100. 
So 1 by S is 4, that's why I told you, right? 4 percentage, 4 percentage. I mean, if you try to convert that to percentage, which is 1 by 25, 1 by S is 1 by 25, implies S is equal to 25 kilometers per hour. Please do not go by the length of the explanation and do not go by the number of steps that we have put on paper. Yeah, let me highlight all that which should not be put on paper. Waste of time. All this is waste of time. All this is only for the sake of understanding. Right? All that you see in red is waste. This also is not to be put on paper. In fact, I should, I should show you what is to be put on paper, right? Only the green part has to be put on paper. What is that? This equation. Solve for this equation and you get the answer. I mean, here itself you should be able to simplify. Yeah, 25 kilometers per hour. So the answer to this question posted by Sagar Singh is 25 kilometers per hour, uh, the average speed for the third stretch.